Hello there and welcome to our workshop session on how to make a terrarium. Terrariums are a lovely alternative gardening activity that you can do indoors. They're not that expensive and relatively easy to do. You can use it for schools because they can take in lots of different aspects of the curriculum and you can use it for cognitive and mindfulness activities for garden therapy. To make a terrarium, you will need a container. A recycled glass jar will work fine, especially if you have a lid. A glass vase too, but you will need to remember to occasionally water it. A mason jar makes a great terrarium and is great for small succulents and cacti. I'm using a sweetie jar purchased from the supermarket for £1.50. Its size will make it easier for me to work with. Here are the materials you will need. Gravel collected from the shore and washed clean to remove any salt. Indoor plant compost as outdoor soil will contain some unwanted guests. Some charcoal to filter and clean the water. Some moss collected from the paths with encroaching verges. A piece of mesh, netting or even tights. Some stones and driftwood for decorations. And some useful tools to help reach into the container. So as long as it's an indoor plant, you can use uh, just about anything. You can even put spider plants and succulents and all sorts into your um, uh, uh, terrarium. These ones here that I've got are called a uh, mosaic plant and they like a warm room, which means they're quite happy indoors. And if you uh, pick this type of plant, this one I got at a local garden centre, each of these tubs costs less than three pound. And if you look round about the tubs, if you count them, these will all separate out into about, this one here's got about 12 plants available in this one. If you uh, separate them out, you'll then get a small, small plantlet with a bit of soil and a bit of root on and that will be a good start for your terrarium. I'm going to start off first of all with your gravel. enough so you've got a good bed of it and then use your spoon just to flatten it out so you've got a nice level area of gravel. You want to place in your little bit of membrane. Now, as I said, we're going to have to cut this slightly just to make sure it fits. So I'm going to give it a wee trim. To help protect the gravel and the charcoal and the soil mixing together. The next thing you want is your charcoal and I'm just going to try and pour some of this in. You only want a tiny little layer of it, just enough to use as a filtration for the water.
can take out some of the big chunks. We don't want huge big chunks in there. And then just level out again. Okay. The third layer is your soil. I'm doing this quite quick, but it's one of those lovely mindful activities. If you just take your time, you can get quite lost in it. There we go, I think that should be enough. So now you maybe think about where you want to put some of your sticks or stones um, and your moss. You want to get your plants in at some point as well, obviously, but they might be easier to place round about the stones. So whichever works for yourself. This is where you can try and be a little bit artistic. I'm not saying that I am. There we go, I'm going to leave that like that. And then I'm going to try and plant these wee guys in. And this is where a pencil comes in handy. Or even just the, the dull end of a spoon. Dig a little hole to begin with. Plant. And this is if you've got um, tweezers for smaller tubs and um, the long jars, see for instance, that would come in much handier. So make a wee hole and then just gently press in some of the roots. Be, try, try and keep nice and gentle with it because your roots are very fragile obviously. But just gently press that in. That's one there. And then I think I'll put another one in here. But before I do that I'm going to put some moss in around the back. So the moss is all in one piece but you can tear it apart. Put my little plant in here. Find a little bit of soil round about it. Just keep 
keep playing with it until you position it just where you want. So I'm going to put the wee stick in there. Okay. Or do I want another wee stick or a little bit overkill? I might have another little stick. Put some moss on in before that. In here. Right, that will bring them down. Your moss should take as long as it's got enough moisture to get rooted again. Your moss will take quite happily. So, put that in there. And I'm just going to lay that up there. Okay. So that's that's the terrarium finished, basically. So that's that. I'm hoping you can see that well enough. Now you're ready to water it. Now all you have to do is put the lid on. A self-contained, self-sustaining ecosystem all of your own. In this terrarium, we see two life processes being demonstrated. The first one is photosynthesis. Plants make their own food through the process of photosynthesis, taking energy from the sun, water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air. The plants perform a chemical change in the leaf cells, resulting in the creation of sugars which feed the plant and the release of oxygen through the stomata on the underside of the leaves. During the night, the plant releases carbon dioxide as it respires. Therefore, the terrarium gases are always being recycled. The second process being demonstrated is the water cycle, albeit in miniature scale. The plants draw up water from the soil to feed the leaves. And like us, as the plant's environment heats up, it sweats, except it's called transpiration in plants. As the water moves through the leaves, it evaporates into water vapour, which rises into the hot air. As it rises, it begins to cool. The water vapour become droplets. The droplets join together and form condensation on the inside of the glass. Like how our clouds form. When heavy enough, these droplets fall back down to the soil, just like our rain, and so completes the continuous movement of the water cycle within our tiny ecosystem. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you're going to have a go at making a terrarium for yourself. If you do, please feel free to share a photograph with us on the North Asia Council Ranger Service Facebook site, and we'll be more than happy to share it with everybody else. Best of luck with your gardening. <laughs>